Hi, hello, welcome episode number 19. We are still in the harbor. Um, I record this thing this and maybe episode 20. And um, yeah, I guess it we will not uh, start with the main story um, until 25 or maybe 23 or so. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I want to talk to everyone always in all situations as you um, as I may have already um, uh, told you. We are still the harbor. Um, so uh, let me check out this uh, things here. Buy paint juice. Uh, I buy one uh, things just uh, in case I need them for something. But I don't think so. Um, you, hey, um, police officer, mail. Today is a landmark moment in crossbelt history, which is um, precisely why it calls for heavy security. We expect both Erebonians and Calvadians nationalities to attend the signing ceremony. Um, there haven't um, been any signs of terrorist activity, fortunately, but that's no reason to let our guards down. Um, well, well said, sir. Who is I don't there? Is this an event? Know it all, okay. Know it all, old man. My boy has improved uh, quite a bit. At this rate, he will be an ever, even better Mishi than I have been. And um, now I can focus on just um, rehabilitation, rehabilitating this um, damned hip of mine. Wait, wait, could this guy be? He looks like the one Tio and um, I ran into in the locker room a few years ago. Is something wrong, Lloyd? No, well, um, Lloyd, um, oh, sorry, it's nothing. Crazy, you seem to pretty deep in thought there. Having yourself a, a, a raunchy and a daydream. Is this a reference to something um, I encountered when I was... Um... Uh, ha, I guess it, it runs in the family. Okay. Look, even Mishy's celebrating with us. I wonder if they staged some kind of Mishlam event here for today. Ooh, let's go say hi. Michelin guest. Michelin guest. I'm um, male. I'm going to have the time of my life at the theme park. The fact that you can enjoy it even alone is what makes Michelin Wonderland so awesome. I'm um, Michelin guest, uh, female, I'm um, older. The, the theme park is great and, at all, but I'm looking forward to shopping at the Michelin Center. I'm going to have myself a shopping sphere. Okay. Um, Michelin guest uh, older man, uh, my family is looking forward to one thing or another, but personally I'm most excited for restaurant uh, for tuna. I can't wait to sample the drink menu. Michelin guest, um, boy, young. Um, I love Michi, but Mecha Michi, uh, Mecha Michi is where it's at. I mean, who doesn't think that Me Mecha are, are cool? Uh, Mishenda is such a cool name. Okay. Is this a couple? Um, I get to go um, on a date to Michelin which my girlfriend on a special day like this. Well, okay, then they are a couple. Cute. Um, I, um, I, can't, I couldn't uh, um, be any happier. And you? Your girlfriend? Um, uh, we are not a tourist, but we are, couldn't pass up the opportunity to visit the theme park on a day like this. We are really um, gonna cut loose. Oh, how cute. Boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, so I, I made a few screenshots of boyfriend and girlfriend. Now I can uh, um, talk to the rest of them. Um, uh, and chat. Uh, hello. Um, the cr cruise ship heading from Michelin Wonderland will be departing shortly. There will be an encore of the post signing ceremony show at the theme park as well. There will be, um, also be a special daytime parade uh, and fireworks, so it's sure to be a lot of fun. I'm I'm curious where we possibly meet um uh, uh, Joshua Nestel, Michi. 
Michi, Michi, I hear today is a very special day. We will be holding a mini show after the ceremony, so be sure to stop by. Lloyd, that sounds uh, like it um, could could be fun. Crazy, it's been uh, so long since I have seen Michi in the in the view. It takes me back to my days of um, lonely um, housewives inviting me to Michelin for a secondary um, rendezvous. Well, even what you associate Michi with is corrupt. You are the worst. Michi, nothing could corrupt um, your fun when you are at Michi Wonderland. Um, Lloyd, haha, <laughs> Michi is a um, consummate uh, professional. Um, okay, um, we talk to Michi. What a um, wonderful, um, wonderful day. There's a fishing spot. Do you think I should fishing? Maybe, I, I mean, I, I don't like fishing, but uh, if the game wants me to do so, I may uh, try it out. Is there anything else interesting in here? No, I can't go this way, this way. Okay, let's uh, let's try it out. I, I skip it for you because it's boring as hell. I don't like fishing. I have not uh, fished even a single fish. Um, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe I have to try this mini game later again. But uh, I'm not good in this. Um, so, um, if you are enjoying fishing, then probably you should watch someone else. Um, I'm not good in this. So I talked to this guy, I talked to this guy who is running so quickly around. There's someone else here, oh, yeah, the police officer. I talked to him. Um, so I should probably go to the higher you um, apartment. Higher you and um, trading thing. Something like this. Episode 19, yes. Uh, um, uh, 19 I will record still and then um, 20 maybe also. Um, but uh, 21 and so I will do something else, some, some time else. Um, low. Low. Greetings, special support section. Crazy, I don't see go um, a cow anywhere. I don't. Is he not here? Correct. Master Cow is currently away on business. Crossbelts re, re, re independence means that Higher you branches and communications will have to be restructured. Master Xin has returned to the Republic with um, the elders and the b blessings. Good to know, um, um, Lloyd. Good to know, Higher you, Higher you has um, its hands full at the moment. Now, indeed, um, seeing you reminds me that Master Xin has messages he would like to pass along. I apologize. I couldn't. Um, uh, I could not deliver this message in person, my dear Ellie. Congratulations on Crossbelt's re-independence. It wouldn't bring me great. It would bring me great pleasure to arrange a party in your and Crossbelt's honor at a later date. That was. That was all. I would ap appreciate if um, it if you could uh, pass the master's message along to Miss Dorel um, Mao. Well, when you can. Well, um, geese. That's a little. That little guy is just as head, um, over heels, um, for her, as ever. Uh, thanks, um, Lau. I will be sure to let her know. Um, hi, you remember? Um, why is the, why? It's a pleasure to see you, um, uh, SSS. My heart for congratulations on Crossbelt regaining its independence. So we may um, not hear from Crossbell or history here is obviously long. We are as pleased as anyone to see this day come. Please give my regards to Miss Mao Durrell. Um, um, is this little guy, this, um, how, uh, what was his name, interested in uh, um, Ellie? I mean, maybe as it's Lloyd, um, this Ellie is Lloyd's girlfriend. Um, maybe you already know or later. I'm not sure. I will maybe write a story about them. I don't think I can uh, uh, go anywhere here. I don't see anything interesting. Uh, uh it, it, the upstairs area is sealed off, um, of course. So yeah, let's um, leave again. I tried to learn a little bit Chinese recently, but uh, I don't remember any of these um, characters. If it is Chinese or not any, any similar language, I'm not sure. 
But uh, yeah. The crossbow new service. Um. Okay. Let's go then. The harbor is not so full of people as some other districts have been. Okay, I'm um, just check something on my phone. Okay, mm. ah. Oh! Ha! Huh. Outbreak of the war. In spring 1192 of the Septim Septian calendar, a single cannon shot uh, shook the Haken Gate uh, situated in the northern part of the Liberal Kingdom. This marked the uh, beginning of the invasion, later known as the Hundred Days War, and the moment in which the Regain um, region Golden Stallion assailed the noble and um, right falcon. During this time, the Haken Gate was a little more than a reinforced medieval ram rampart. It easily uh, succumbed, succumbed to the round fired by on one of the um, Empire's uh, reinforced um, company built orbital tanks leaving a section of the aged barrier and um, fractured and um, beyond repair. Um, and as the Liberal Kingdom, other defensive walls were hit in succession by a um, fusillade of cannonballs, they too fell under the explosive impact and were reduced to a, a mountain, mountain of rubble. At about the time, the time at about the same time that the first cannon shot was fired, a single letter from the Erebonian embassy located in the located in the royal city was delivered to Queen Al um, Alicia. More spe spe specifically, it was a writ containing a declaration of war by Erebonian by the Erebonian Empire upon the Liberal Kingdom. In terms of diplomatic wisdom, the um, prosperity Pro priority of the declaration was established by you by being handled prior to the um, preemptive pre strike, but in this instance there was hardly a difference in time between when the two occurred. In short, firing the first shot at the exact moment war was declared on the Liberal Kingdom made it possible for the European Empire to guise their preemptive strike as one of the Legitimate le le legitimacy when the first uh, bombshell hit. This could be referred to as a new diplomatic war tactic, though uh, on incapable of being employed uh, without a met metu meticulous um, level of planning used in concert uh, with an orbital communication system. Uh, Hundred days war. I was not. I was not ready yet. Okay. So, uh, communication system. After the um, destruction of the Haken Gate, the Imperial Army began its invasion of Liberia in East. Um, in in earnest. Overall, its troops' strength was made up of thirteen divisional units. This proved to be roughly half of the Empire's entire military force, and was such a Massive deployment that it exceeded three times that of Liberal's entire royal army. Within a month after the outbreak of war, the Imperial Army had occupied nearly all of the Liberal territory, only the um, Grenzel region and um, Leiston um, fortress, situated just off the shore of Valaria Lake, remained in opposition to so rapidly rare, um, this uh, blitz tactic. And we carried out a um, uh, that even the recovered republic, an ally of the Liberal Kingdom and long-time rival of the Erebonian Empire, never had the opportunity to dispatch auxiliary forces to aid its partner. However, in a following attempt by the Imperial Army to take direct control over Zeiss Central Factory and Marga Mine, they instead um, found themselves on the very um, verge of being um, forced to surrender to Queen Alisa, who remained entrenched uh, within the, the royal city. Two months um, following the outbreak of the war, the battle situa situation was altered 
in a way which no one could have previously anticipated. Unknown, unknown, un, unbeknownst to the Erebonian army, three patrol um, ships were quietly being de developed behind the walls of Leiston Fortress. Upon completion, they were put on, un, under the dire direction of veteran commander um, General Morgan and a large scale out, um, counter attack was launched. These patrol ships, uh, shielded, shield, um, shielded by armor far superior to the tanks of the Imperial um, counterparts um, and mounted with a um, substantially amount of high performance orbital weaponry and also um, had managed to boost their speed to over 1800 soldiers per hour use, using this uh, crafts um, and independent mobile force loaded as a elite of um, elite liberal uh, forces mounted an attack and quickly recaptured um, the checkpoints um, connecting the various regions and as this, this strike was underway um, they st st simultaneously um, launched an um, ambitious attack from Leyston Fortress and one by one defeated the remaining isolated Imperial divisions. After just three months following the outbreak of the war, the larger part of the Imperial larger part of the Imperial Army's remaining divisions finally surrendered. However, as capitul capitulations was at hand, there were incidents indications of a surge of further reinforcements from the Imperial homeland. A move which galvanized other continent continental nations to follow suit and joined the Kaibat Republic in supporting Liberal. Together they um, lambasted, lambasted the Empire and a formidable group of allied forces began to marshalize uh, um, martialize. Uh, Amidst all the chaos, the uh, um, Septian Church, in cooperation with the Brasser Guild, called for an um, armistice. Um, and after approximately 100 days from the start of um, the war, the hostilities came to an end in the following year of 1193, and the Arab Royal Vile um, on the outskirts of the Royal City, a peace treaty was signed at both the Liberal and Erebonian side. Although no um, intimification was made, an official apology was offered by, up by the imperial government as they ex expressed that they had made a grievous error att attitude to a tragic incident occurring within their borders. Which is in um, um, uh, a reference to Hamel, where we already know, probably you know much about this, I know about this village which was, which was um, uh, um, there was a massacre by the um, Erebonian nobles and um, innocent people were slaughtered, among them also Yosho's family and Lewis' family. Mm, but more about this in the later episode. The next episode, I guess, will take place in this um, building where I will read the books. So, um, uh, skip a few episodes if you're interested more into um, talking to people and more into the story. Let's continue. Um, I mean, um, have a nice day.